pull it back up into the hip. Pull that leg into the hip. And make it long again. Make it long, really long from the hip. Now we take the right leg straight up. Put the arms down now to the side. Take the right leg straight up and down and the left one straight up and down. Now comes the right leg up and the left hand will touch the toe. That's right. And come on down. And the other leg and the opposite hand touches the toe, the opposite hand. That's right, and come on down. And again, now the right leg goes up, and now you hold the toe with your hand. And go from side to side with the leg. As far as you can go, that's right. Just move it in the hip as far as you can. And let go, and let it down all the way. That's very good, Jane. Let it down now. And we take the left leg up and hold it with the right hand, okay? And now we go from side to side. That's good. That's a good. Um, Jane, that's very nice. Wow. Okay, and be in the middle and let it down again. Now I'd like you to just rock the hip from side to side. Just rock the, the hips from side, the hips, yeah, just the hips. Okay. And twice as fast. Okay. And stop a moment. I would like you now to find your partner again and go foot and foot together in the, in the bicycle position. This is the last movement we do, the bicycle position. Do you have a, maybe you can do that, can you, with, with um, Odile? Yeah, you come here. Come, in the bicycle position looks like that. I lost my part. Oh, she needs to go? Yeah. yeah. Oh, too bad. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I don't know where it's <coughs> <laughs> yeah. Anyway, we will. Yeah. Let me read. Of course, that's, you have to let her leave. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay, now we come again. Yeah. Wake up. We have to bicycle. Bicycle, you have to. <laughs> That's right, you have to bicycle. Okay, now go on bicycling and come up on your elbows. <laughs> and go on bicycling. <laughs> go bicycling, yes. Okay, now we straighten out the arms and go on bicycling. That's right. Very good, Esther. Very good. Okay. Okay, now we put the feet down so the toes touch. But the feet are down. Feet are down and the toes touch. And now both hands come forward and you hold hands. Does it work? No. No. Do it with, do it with him. Yeah. That's it. And just go forward and back a little bit. Just go forward and back a little bit. Just pulling the low back a bit. That's fine. And then after a while, go a little higher. Then we lift the seat off. Lift the seat off. That's right. And then straighten out the legs. That's right, all the way. And come down and call. Can you come up? That's great. <gasps> well, good. Is that all right with you? And, and nice, nice and slow. OK. Yeah, that's very good. Now go on a bit. Go on a bit. You're doing so nicely. You're doing just wonderfully, okay. Great, just a few more times. That's good. This is our rocking horse. For okay. And everybody comes on up. 
Tick up, tick up. Oh, rather this way. And have a big stretch at the end. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the end. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. The remainder of this videotape shows Marion leading movement in an experiential anatomy workshop at the Rosen Institute in the fall of 1986. Talking about in the sideway bend, I, when she puts on the record, I go on. I have people first stretch a bit so you get really the upward movement. First with one arm, this is a little bit too slow, a little bit faster one. And then the other one, way up. Way up, that's how then everything goes up. See, if your everything hand you higher than your hand. Yeah. And also when the, that's right. And also have it possible to come even a little bit, that's right, a little bit more. That there's a give in you, yeah. That's, that's it, that's what's good, um, David, yeah. That's, that's the one, yeah. That's it. And then once more with the other side. And that's great. See, Frank, growing? Growing, that's fine. Okay, now you're happy, Lan. Okay. Okay, and now we took, put the arm out to the side. And now we come up way up, and now we really get a lift way down. And now come over to the other side. Now when you do that muscles, stretch. You do See all those muscles you learned about. What are your lats doing? Yes. Isn't that yes. Okay. Now we go to the other side, but in order to go to the other side, now we have to go up again. Yeah? Yeah. Now we come way up again. And then we can come down. And now we take the other side up, the left one up, and way up. Way up. And then come down, that's right. And again, and up again before you come down. So you always okay, get this up. keeping your legs straight. No, we don't. <laughs> legs, okay, and just breathe for a moment. Now, I was thinking about the obliques, and then I thought when we have maybe a bending down, forward to the opposite side and can go down a bit and now that's right and now come on up and then they work and turn the other way and go down of course there are all kinds of other muscles involved too but it also gets the obliques and come on up and up and again but it's always the up movement way up you're not coming up quite enough really the, the pelvis has to be involved too because they are they attach at the pelvis remember your pelvis is straightening up too when you do that that's right good and stop again Okay, now do one more. We take the right arm forward and the left one backward and leave the hip forward and just put the arm sideways and take them down. And now we go forward again. Just leave the hips in this position. Can we have once more? And again, the arms forward up and out and down. Let's see. That's an up, and it was lovely. Barbara really went up with her head. That's great. Now, would you do the same thing without going up? Just stay sort of down and see what that movement is like when you stay down. Yeah, it's funny, huh? 
But in second, he's crunched feeling that you have, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Frank doesn't even look like himself. No, it doesn't. Okay, now do it the other way again. With the up with the up movement while you do this. And see how the chest can expand as you go up with it. That's great. And wide in the chest. That's great. So now you can just do it as a dancing movement and grow as tall and wide as you can. Um, don't move the hips, just move above the hip if you can. Just feel, because if you move the hips, then it's actually an angle movement that you get. Yeah? Try and do it as an angle movement. Anchor, your yeah, anchor, you know. Then you don't, you, you take the hips along, but you don't have the obliques working, then you have just your, your legs, yeah. Can you feel that? That's right. So it's a very nice movement, but then it's an anchor movement. Okay, now let the hips be forward again and do the top. just wanted you for the awareness to feel that. Because if you do it in the end as a movement, then you do bows, you know, and bows. Now do bows coming along. That both the hips and the top will move. <laughs> well, and this is going to be the end of the morning session. <laughs> and again, and thank you very much. And we have an awful lot to do. Thank you. Thank you. You didn't take your bow. You should come back about. So hey, some of your exercise teachers come here in front with me, okay? It's a way to introduce you, because we want to talk about it anyway. Come on. Uh, Irene, too. That's right. So, as we do that, I would like to introduce uh, Sue Brenner, who is our uh, movement instructor, trainer. And uh, Irene Meyer, who is doing some of the practicum on the movements. And Diane Sloat, who's been trained and is a teacher now in movement also. And I want to say something about it when we're through with the exercises. But this way, of course, we move the whole shoulder girdle and all the movements, all the muscles that you've tried. Oh, I forgot Lisa, my yeah. goodness, the most important one. Come on, Lisa, come on. Come on here, she doesn't. Lisa teaches my classes for me whenever. Come on, yeah. Come on. Come on. Come here. <laughs> now I would like you, as you do that and have fun of it, meet, also feel the movement going to the chest, you know, how you feel a pectoral move to your chest as you do that. And maybe you can also feel in the back the, can you see in your mind's eye the muscle that pull back the trapezius and the uh, rhomboids that pull back a bit while you do that. We have this again. Do that again. Just for fun, yeah? So this is not a movement just from the shoulder joint again. It is movement connecting to the body to do that. <laughs> the knees and what's more, the hips also. I'm very aware of it and when I move it that I don't do that. I don't do that. I take it up from the hips and maybe from the ankles even. That the movement goes through the whole part but the muscles that are being used are up there around the shoulder. Okay. Now we let one stretch in the middle which I always helps to see if they really are nice and long. Who asked me about it and down? Okay. 
Now we do what we call the inward rotation. And we call it a wing rock. We take the head down and lift the middle deltoid up. Yeah? And also the latissimus, no, no, latissimus wouldn't lift it up. Yeah. I, I forgot, I'm, I'm talking to myself, but I forgot which muscle, which is the muscle that does it besides the deltoid? Lifting. Yeah, is, is, lift, which muscle is doing that? Deltoid. Deltoid, yeah. I don't know, a bit, starts it, yeah, starts it. We didn't talk about it, but it's up there, lifts it a bit. But what is good is that the joint gets turned inward. Okay, and now we just let the arms rest for a moment, let it ease. And now we go to the opposite one, we go to the hitchhike and take it out and out. And again, the chest backwards. Now, Hans, you have to call out, I can't do... Yeah. See, the terraces, yeah. Yeah, super spinner, yeah. The posterior part of the deltoid. That's right. That's it. If you put the hand here, put the hand here. And you feel it, yeah. So bad. Yeah, get them. So, yes, that's it. Right. Now, twice is present. Da, 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 in the tongue. Now, this is interesting. We can also do the hitchhike, you know, at different levels. <laughs> We can, for instance, start out there, which is not the deltoid, which is what? Yes, but what is this one here when we do it down here? No, latissimus is this way. Also, the same muscles, the same muscles, but not as intently, you know, when you don't really want to ride when you do it down here. And you think maybe. There's also the outward rotators, also the terrace. Major that come. Yeah. Uh, it's too hard to do another one now just to do this one. Yeah. And then of course again the lift is from way down, huh? Try without a lift and just do it this way. Nothing really much, but then you start and really do it. But again the movement, the connection is to the chest. Now we go up a little bit with the fingers. Now we get a little more intense, huh? Now we really want it. Now somebody might come up. And now what I like to do is hitch and then look where they went. And hitch and look where they went. And hitch and there, look where they went. And hitch and look. And hitch and look. And hitch. And and look and hitch and look and hitch and look and hitch and look and hitch and you, you do it in the that's right now you do it first one side that's right okay now we need a bit slower one the one we had this morning just stretch for a moment as you feel you got quite stimulated in here somewhere and after a while, I guess you need to breathe, yawn, or do something of the sort. And this is what some of the movements are for, really to widen the chest, to move the muscles that go around the chest up there. What I would like is some of the, the extensors of the arm. To go back, yeah? Do you have it? A little faster one. Okay. Excuse me. It's just. No. One further, I guess. But oh, then do the same, this is all right. No, not that one. It's a faster one. 
And you say it's very particular to be uh, Marion's uh, record player. And, right. And, and Jane, who's also one of the movement teachers, is responsible for that. <laughs> <laughs> That's his head. Okay. Now we take the arm back and up. That's fine. And the other one. Hans, can you call out the muscles as we do it? Yes. Yes, yes Mario. You are called with the lombards. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> That's right. You should do that. Yeah. Take off your shirt. But now we do something else. We take both arms up. This is the forward flexion. No? Tectoralis. yeah. And trapezius. Yes. Now we go down and take them all the way back. And now while you do that, I would like you to bend your hip joint, if you know where it is, as far as you can, till the arms are way up there and wave like birds up, up there. Put them up as high as you can, really high. And now take both arms to the right in that position and then over to the left. And this is a very good movement to get your shoulder blade moving on the trunk. Yes? Can you feel that at all? Okay, now let the right hand fall down and the left one stays up. And now we exchange, we take the right up and let the left one fall. So that really gets the whole back moving there. Would you like to talk about the muscles, Hans? <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah, in the waist, there's some, yeah, that's right. I love this movement. Now take those arms backwards once more and let them fall upwards towards your ears and see how high up they go. And now take them down a little bit and then up again. So let the shoulder blade go up and down on your back this time. Can you feel the amount of movement you have there? You take the shoulder blade, right? Yeah, <laughs> good. And let the both arms fall down to the floor and come up again. These are the ones that serratus and the trapezius that work the shoulder blade and the angle of it. And thank you, I think this is all. <laughs>